Nikita. I am senior software engineer. Right now I'm working at Netcard. Um, and I'm building pipelines and try to see out the box how can I help business to earn more money and solve some problems with data, how to get data from the row and uh, give this information for the uh, specific department who worked with the data and try to predict some movements, clients, mm. uh, behaviors. I can slightly introduce what I'm doing right now and what is my team and what we are doing actually. Um, I would like to discuss uh, my current company and what we are doing for your better understanding. Nerdskirt, it's a global CDN provider. Uh, we have physical edges that we are serving on the internet providers and we mm -hmm. helping um, our clients with the um, video content. We nice. are pre-caching and caching video content to uh, decrease the latency between our customers and the providers. Yes, it's a CDN. I am doing everything that related with the marketing, with the uh, backend, with the application team for better understanding what's, what is happening on our edges, physical edges, and how can I mm -hmm. help to the, for example, marketing and the sales to be efficient and performant. It looks like you quite focused on consumption layer. It is unconventional for a data engineer. How did it happen? It was a long journey. Um, I touch different um, like sectors of the engineering and I found myself mm -hmm. in data. I really like analyzing. In the beginning, I really adore about analyzing data and uh, transform the data, play with the data to do some insights and mm. show this for the management. What did you like about our company? I checked your website and also I spoke with David and I like this idea to um, work with uh, creative people um, mm -hmm. who deliver some uh, unique content, uh, unique yeah. product. Um, and I saw also some tiers that you have uh, for the different, mm -hmm. I think, uh, like size of the clients. And it's yeah. pretty, I'm pretty familiar with that. We also have some tiers with the different uh, size of the clients. And uh, I'm also doing some mm, investigation and presenting for our sales who work with mm -hmm. the different size of the clients. Um, what's the um, history with the client? Um, what's mm. the behavior? What clients is using or not? What the products, yeah. what type of events our clients is generating? And I think it's pretty similar what you are doing. What do you like about your current role? Data for me, it's not only about the uh, SQL querying, it's also about the mm -hmm. building infrastructure. For example, I found myself really enjoyable to build mm, some uh, like clusters in the Kubernetes and connecting mm -hmm. some different parts in between. Uh, recently, my biggest project was about containerizing different application. I containerized Airflow, Airbyte inside of Kubernetes and also mm -hmm. different uh, Postgres database. And I'm doing um, transformation throughout raw data and uh, deploying and pushing into Snowflake. I really adore about scheduling, uh, some, some performance improvement for our data pipelines. I also have some ownership with the team. Um, I discuss with the product managers uh, about some changes or implementing new pipelines mm -hmm. to get new data from the source and deliver to data marts. Which part in your company would you like to change? For example, some of the simple things that we, uh, we can adjust, it's a performance. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, we can uh, change 
full reload to the incremental because we can uh, reduce the cost uh, and mm -hmm. also performance. It's really important how fast we can deliver our data to to the uh, terminal users or terminal cust yes. customers. Actually, Snowflake, uh, it's a big headache for me. I try to analyze the costs uh, and also reduce. So I need to do some analysis, warehouse analysis, and I created some dashboards to represent uh, daily or monthly or yearly costs for the Snowflake and try to analyze uh, between uh, some range of time. What dimensions are you using to analyze credit consumption in Snowflake? Do you slice them by jobs, users, warehouses? I am using the credits and uh, also time to turn. As you know, we can, for example, use different warehouses for different tasks. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. we have some warehouse for the dev and also we can adjust uh, the size of the warehouse and the compute power. I can uh, analyze also query performance, query plan, how much time we spent on the query and how much mm -hmm. power consumption. So I analyzing this kind of stuff to to mm -hmm. get some insights and reduce the costs. Some of the house are, for example, underutilized or overutilized, and I need to find this uh, golden middle and adjust it. How would you explain the value of a technical stuff DBT or Terraform to non-technical audience like marketing person, CFO, customer, etc.? cetera? Uh, so um, about uh, speaking with non-technical persons, I would like to use some mm, metaphors, maybe simplifying some um, themes uh, to avoid mm -hmm. using uh, the development uh, lexic and just try to uh, explain as simple as I can. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. some um, examples from the real life because DBT, it's like a business logic into the SQL framework and mm -hmm. I need to explain if it's if it's actually needed because I don't know when I would I want to explain DBT for the customers or if yes. you if, if you're talking about our uh, for example internal team it's a different you also mentioned about the Terraform Terraform yeah. it's a code for the infrastructure to make it transparent, mm. reliable, and reproductible. We can use the prod, development, or stage. It's a mm. different different types of environment, do some staging and uh, deploying to the production. We are value the spread of knowledge. What do you think makes you a good manner? I have actually a good example for you. Um, sometimes we, maybe once per year, we have a, uh, interns or um, I don't know how it's uh, exactly the term in Canada. We have uh, undergraduated students who come to us to get the skills. I have a leadership on these students uh, and I am teaching uh, this group uh, how to work with the data, some basic uh, concepts. Um, and another example, um, we have like community uh, with the yeah. data engineers and we attracting some uh, like newcomers from different, uh, for example, different developers who wants to turn mm. his career into the data. Mm, I'm doing some workshops, uh, video calls, do some projects uh, and present it uh, in, real, in real time. And we are doing nice. in parallel, I'm helping and so I'm developing some documentation before, and we are going step by step throughout this process, and I am answering for the questions. How would you go if you need to learn a new technology, for example, GCP? If I learn some, for example, as you mentioned, GCP, it's like a cloud platform. Um, I have some background experience with uh, Amazon or Azure, and actually it's a simpler for me because uh, we have 
just different naming, but the mm. uh, the structure, the main theme, theme, it's uh, pretty similar. And I am using the documentation. I am uh, trying to implement some maybe pet projects to for better mm. understanding how it works in on a small size of data, uh, creating the maybe dummy Postgres and try to use this tool to implement some basic things that I'm doing on my workplace. So it's nice. it's it's not the big deal um, because I have experience. And I mean, tools are coming every year uh, in the data. Yeah. Actually, I remember the picture uh, about the data engineering. And for example, yeah. if we are talking about the 2015, it's like a, a really rare uh, icons uh, on the picture, but if you if you uh, look at this uh, picture right now, you you are it's not able to see what's the icon in, inside this picture, right? I would like to know more about um, your team methodology, um, and as you mentioned, um, you don't have any um, machine learning specialist, but uh, I see that you are going to the AI. Could you describe it? What's the size of your Snowflake right now? What's the cost? What is your goals, um, your personal goals, and also the goal of data engineering team? I think you answer on all of my questions. Thank you very much, you too.